Simon, help me put the pot on the table. What in the stop, Mum? It's butter, isn't it, Mum? You made butter, didn't you, Mummy? It's not for eating, Simon. I'm to sell it at market. Can I be the one to sell it at the markets, Mum? I get a good price. We can fill the stuff with lashings. First of all, my simple son, it's fill the pot with shillings. Secondly, there's no way I'd trust you with money or anything of worth. Simon, if you come back with the butter unsold, it will be the devil to pay. Don't worry, Mum. I won't. You won't have to pay the devil. I'll come back with lots of lashings. Would you perhaps like to try some of my mother's butter? It is the best butter in all the land. You see? Have you ever tried such butter in your life? Very well then, I shall sell you the butter and expect full payment tomorrow. I bid you farewell then. I can't believe I gave you the butter to sell. I should have known you would do something stupid. But Mum, I'm gonna get That's the That's the last time I trust you with anything, Simon. That was a good one. If we get this up, we're rich in no time. Yeah, and then no more standing around opening doors for people all day. Okay, let's go before someone sees us. Good afternoon, sir. Do you have the money you owe me? Am I to understand you would refuse to pay me what you owe me? I am not one to be underestimated, sir. I will have a jewel with you, and for insult, and to make you pay back what you owe to me. I've just slaughtered a goat, Simon, and I thought, seeming as you did such a good job at the markets last time, you might like to go again. Well, I think you'll find I'm quite the boat salesman, Mum. I think you mean to say goat, Simon. Fetch a price for the meat, same as you did the butter, okay, Simon? Flashing's enough for the both of us. <laughs> Shillings. Good afternoon, ma'am. Would you perhaps like to try some of my boat meat? It is the most tender in all the land. Very well then. Would you like to purchase the rest of the meat? Very well. Thank you. 
I would have payment for for my meat now, ma'am. Are you saying that you are will not pay me for what you have taken? Uh, I've dealt with your kind before. Justice will be done, but not by my hand. I'm taking you to the king himself, and he will punish you for what you have done, and make you pay back what's mine. <laughs> you there. What be your business in the castle, young sir? A woman stole from me, without payment, and I seek Justice from the king. The king is busy. He has asked us to send all visitors away. So be gone. But I seek justice and reward from the king. I tell you what, son. I shall let you pass only if you promise to me what the king rewards you. Wouldn't you say justice is worth any price? Well, I guess justice is the more noble path. Good afternoon, King. I've been wrong, my lord. In what manner? I was on my way to the market to sell some slaughtered goat meat. And, uh, this woman stopped me, a rough woman, who said she would buy my meat. But I gave her the meat and she gobbled it up, and then she wouldn't pay for the meat. I wanted to pay for the meat, my lord. And the whereabouts of this woman? She's here, in the bag. <laughs> Young sir, you've brought much light to this rather dark hall. How can we reward you? My mother would have me receive 60 lashings for the meat. You can't be serious, lad. They're the reward I seek, my lord. Very well, son. If that's truly your desire. It is, my good king. So it shall be done. Come back tomorrow when it shall be fulfilled. We're here to claim the prize the lad has promised us. <laughs>